Marxism wrapped in a Bible taken literally and in the American flag. Look at this guy. Saturated with this guy's being censored. Misogyny yeah. and xenophobia. Number two, we have a plan to bring yes. forward hundreds of thousands of the Nazis. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. So, how you think we're going to round you up and put you in a concentration camp and then kill you? Yes. Why do you think that? Because you are very violent and you shut down free speech. Okay. That's interesting. What about the immigrants who are being rounded up? Who's being rounded up? What immigrants? Immigrants by ICE? Which, the ones who came here illegally. Yeah, no one who came here legally is being rounded up. People who came here illegally are being rounded up and put in jail. Illegally, right, because they broke the law. They didn't but come they, here legally. Are they not human? No, they're human, but they need to follow the law. My what if the law is unjust? Law? She waited 10 years for her turn to come here. Some people did, yeah, but what if the law is not right? And you break the law. Maybe, I don't think you deserve to be sent back to your country, maybe where you've never been. We need to reform the immigration process, and they need to follow the law. I agree, it should get reformed. Cool. It's already a film by uh, Channel 5 and Channel 7 in the Bay Area. It was spot some other planets uh, with other societies. And Donald Trump, he probably had some friends at 12 Galaxies that were also uh, involved with war crimes in the Middle East, and they didn't pay me as a movie star, so... I'm trying to go to the United Nations a few years from now and try to get it all proven too. For 12 planets, for uh, are, how are they related to Trump? It was the 12 galaxies that were friends with Donald Trump with some uh, corruption and war crimes. Awesome. Well, good luck with that. I hope you uh, take that all the way up to the UN. Appreciate it. Oh, dude, what's, what's up, man? man? What's going on? Nice to meet you, weekly, brother. Weekly narrative. What's yeah, up? Nuance Bro. <laughs> we found the Nuance Bro finally after several months. Uh, we both had our start at Berkeley, and uh, here we are in San Francisco at the uh, November 4th Antifa protest. So, you get any good content today so far? I think so. Uh, I got I got some people I recognize from other events, and... Uh, the hell I, rec I think I recognize some people. Uh, but yeah, I recognize a lot of people here today, and uh, I got some people are like, "Hey, don't talk to this guy. He's all right." Are they doing like, that already? One of them already did, and I confronted. I'm like, "Oh, really? You want to talk about that? Let's talk about that. You think I'm all right? Let's. You th am I even allowed to be all right? Like, what's right. going on? You know?" Right. What's up? We're in downtown San Francisco. We're marching to impeach Trump. I'm Jeremy, and this is a weekly narrative. You got T for tyranny, R for racism, U for undermine, M for misogyny, and P for pussy grabber. Yeah. What, wow. What don't you understand about that? I'll, I'll, a lot of it, really. Like, how, how is uh, how is Trump? Uh, is he a tyrannical ruler, or how how does he represent tyranny? Well, pretty much, I think he is. You know, like uh, with the Muslim ban, which is totally illegal. He's doing a lot of things at all the courts. And all, a majority of people in the United States disagree with, but he's going ahead with it anyway. He's a divider, not a uniter. You know, he doesn't say anything that brings people together. Everything he does is about fighting and hate and division. Everything. I, I would argue that he's, you know, he kind of argues for America and the American people as a whole, and it's kind of people yeah. the people at yeah. this kind of rally this part of the american people you <laughs> well that's right. not that's not who got that him elected though the, that is the part yes you know what i am a white woman and unfortunately white women put him in office so i have that cross to bear it's your guys's fault <laughs> well it's not my fault for sure i didn't vote for him but, um. <laughs> how, what about the racism how is he racist oh please <laughs> What about, oh my God. You didn't catch the news about what happened in Charlottesville? 
in Charlottesville? Yeah, you didn't catch the news on that one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of good people in that KKK group. Plenty of good people in there. It wasn't all KKK, though. There's only about six... Yeah, there there's, there's like there, people trying to fight them, but he thought that the KK, you know, they're okay. But he said there were good people on both sides, though. It's absolutely amazing to me that this is 2017 and we're still fighting the KKK. It's absolutely astonishing to me. But that's where we are, so that's where we, what we have to fight. I haven't seen any KKK lately, though. Are, you uh, are there any here? <laughs> well, I don't know. There, there could be some here. I don't know. I don't see any in this particular block. You haven't noticed any of this either since he's been in office, right? Since he's been in office? Or, you know, during the campaign and since he's been in office. He's a very crude man, but I don't think he's a misogynist. How, how is he a misogynist? Well, I guess you have to be a woman in this country to understand it. I guess, you know, you're, uh, white males, they probably I just, don't get it. I won't get it. Yeah, they probably don't get it. Well, he's, he, Especially if you hadn't noticed it, then you obviously don't get it. So just give me one concrete example of him being a misogynist <laughs> since he's cut it off. Um, well, let's see. Just the other day, he can't get over it. He has to call Elizabeth Warren, who is a very distinguished senator in her own right, but he can't even be respectful enough to call her by name or even senator. He has to call her Pocahontas. He's got little nicknames for everyone because he's so disgusting. He's so... He kind of does that to everybody, though. He doesn't just do that to women. <laughs> he makes fun of everybody equally. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, like little Marco Rubio, Lion Ted. I mean, he has nicknames for everybody. Uh-huh. That makes it okay. It doesn't make it okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't give it, make it... It's not a concrete example of misogyny. Well, it is to me. All right, well, thank you for sharing your opinions. I really appreciate it. And stay safe today. Opinion of the march? Well, my way from Australia, mate, so I've got no idea what's going on, really. <laughs> <laughs> what does Australia think of Trump? You guys hear a lot about him over there? Yeah, yeah, it's 50 50 actually, to really? tell you the truth, what's going on. Yeah, right on. not too sure, but a lot of people support, a lot of people have different opinions, yeah. pretty much like probably in the, in, in the States. You, guys, you don't have people marching in the streets over there, do you? Yeah, yeah, for different causes, yeah. Right. Not, not too much against our, the people that run our country, though, so. Right. Normally, cool. once once someone's in power, you just support it. It yeah. doesn't look like it's happening here. <laughs> that's what it used to be up yeah. until Trump got elected. Yeah, anyway. that's right. It's, always, it's weird. You guys were the same. You guys would never demonstrate against the president. But right, yeah. Like, uh, Something's changed. changed. Yeah. Something's changed. Well, thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Cheers. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? Pretty good. How's it going out here today so far? Well, it's been pretty peaceful so far. Just having to deal with a lot of communist scum, but that's normal, you know. <laughs> just a normal... They crawl out of the sewers when they have these little bits. Just a normal day in San Francisco, right? Yeah, normal day in San Francisco. Commie love in San Francisco. <laughs> We're going to get it back red again, though. Don't worry about that. We're going to get it back to love in America again. We're not going to put up with this communist scum. We'll drive them out of the streets. You guys want to impeach Trump? What? You want to impeach Trump? Sure. Why? Because he's a terrible person. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. You guys want to impeach Trump? Nah, uh, we're from New Zealand. <laughs> so this is a whole mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you never seen anything like this before, huh? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Let's try to make our way through the, to the... I want to go to talk to that guy with the absolute tyrant sign. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you about your sign? Sure. Uh, I'm more interested in the, the, uh, the back, which says Trump's a tyrant. But uh, we'll start with the orangutan. What is, what is the Siberian orangutan? Well, you know, about four or five years ago, Bill Maher challenged uh, Trump to prove that he wasn't, his father wasn't an orangutan, and Trump turned around and sued him. So that's the type of president we have. You know, it's just he wants to use the legal system, wants to use all aspects of government to get his way. And, you know, he's up against the wishes of the American people. We've got to do something about that. Can't let a madman like that blow up the world or destroy our economy or the people of the country. How, how is he against the wishes of the people if he was democratically elected? No, he, he was he was elected by the Electoral College. He wasn't elected by the majority of the people. So, no. He, right. He, 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 well, that's how it works in America. 
Yeah, and this is how it works in America too. People stand up, have a right to demonstrate, and get right. views, and affect the, and affect the uh, way that their legislators vote, and that the way affect the way their fellow citizens vote. So that's what we're out here doing today. It's, it's beautiful. A little bit of American democracy. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. <laughs> okay, so how on the back? How is he a tyrant? He is a tyrant by saying that he wants to take over the FBI and the Department of Justice and run it the way he wants to run it. That's not the way our Constitution works, is it? When did he say that? Oh, he said that yesterday, sir. Oh, just yesterday he said he wants to take over the FBI and the CIA? Yes, sir, that's right. He said oh, wow. if, he had his way, if he had his way, it would be done differently, and he doesn't like the way it's going, and that's his biggest frustration. Well, he's kind of letting the FBI, you know, kind of go through all his business and investigate him. Isn't that kind of, you know, going along with him? Well, for the moment, that's what we're out here about. We're concerned that he won't. Oh, isn't it a little premature to be out here before the investigation's over? I don't think so at all. There's no, the Constitution is not premature. People have a right to, to, to get out here and have their voices heard. That's what we're doing. Do you think he colluded with Russia? I do. Uh, through the election hacking, the quote-unquote election hacking? I think that when his business went through bankruptcies in the 1980s, he could not get financing, and he is owned hook, line, and sinker by the Russians, and that's what's going on now. Russian capitalists are, are control Donald Trump. He will not say one word, bad word about Putin because of that. Exactly. What do you think about the Clintons taking millions of dollars of their foundation from Russia? I don't like that either. Yes. So I don't think Clinton would be any better. Yeah, I know. Uranium deals with Russia, so All right. isn't he technically colluding with Russia too? If we don't want to strengthen Russia, why are we selling our uranium production capabilities to them? To who? To Russia. We sold 20% of our uranium production capabilities to Russia. You know, even if that uranium's not leaving the country, it strengthens them uh, economically. Not familiar with that. Don't talk about things that I don't know about. Uranium? Uranium One? Excuse me? Uranium One. You haven't heard of Uranium One? I'm not familiar with what you're talking about, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna blab about something I don't know about. Appreciate that. Last question. What uh, media outlets do you get your news from? Excuse me? Where do you get your uh, media and news from? Fox. Really? I, I sense sarcasm. <laughs> you, well, I can't oh, tell. Mean, what, can't mean, help. Uh, I can't help. CNN? I can't help. I can't help what you what you sense. The Clinton News Network. Okay. Well, I'm just curious. Thanks for your time. Sure. What's your deal, brother? Hey, how you doing, man? Jeremy. Alex, nice Alex, to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, uh, I'm just out here uh, trying to expose the hypocrisy of the far left. Uh, you know, they say we live in a fascist society, but the reality of it is they wouldn't be able to be out here protesting if we truly lived in a fascist society. We live in the most free and prosperous countries in the world. Sir, can I ask you about your sign? Can I ask you about your sign? How big is it? You might say, well, I'm trying, I don't know how, how he's a racist. So, I don't want, if you, if you don't, here, I'll give you the other part of the sign. Here's the heavy one. It's a cool design. How, how is Trump a racist, though? Nothing. We are the ones that have been called. We are the ones that understand. We are the ones that see the nightmare coming. Yeah. Member Ben Shapiro? Straight up. I What's up, man? Doing. How's it going? Good, good. What's the deal here today? Uh, you know, I don't really know. It kind of seemed like a little bit of a fail when they were up there. Now, the march, it seems like they have even less people. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. When they, when they said four miles, I thought maybe like half of them wouldn't even make it to two miles. They, I, I, I mean, I didn't think uh, like a quarter of them would even leave the plaza. <laughs> they, when they were chanting, like, put your fists in the air, probably a quarter of the people had their yeah. fists in the air. It was, uh, it was very funny to see. They were also right next to a Christmas tree. Yeah. I, I'm almost positive that communists hate Christians. I'm almost positive. I think so. Yeah, and it was very ironic that they were right next to that. <laughs> there was a guy saying that capitalism was a race. Um, and I was trying to explain to him that capitalism is not a race. And he's calling me like an idiot. And I'm like, you're calling me an idiot when you're saying that capitalism is a race. <laughs> Where are you guys from? The UK. UK? So are you just like visiting or? Yeah, I'm actually, it's my birthday today, so we were just like, should we go to an anti-Trump protest and actually see what they look like in real life? Dude, this is a great, this is a great place to go for a birthday party, dude. There's, it's, this is a fun thing, it's a fun time. Yeah, 
It was, uh, the thing that annoyed me the most is I spoke to a guy and one of the people handing out leaflets came up to me and said he was a Nazi. He said he was a Nazi? Yeah, and having, my family are Jewish, and a lot of them actually died in the Holocaust, so like, having members of my family that actually got killed by actual Nazis, and then someone like him, right. to be called a Nazi, is a Jew. They, yeah. It's like, she didn't even know what a Nazi was, she didn't even know they meant National Socialist or anything like they that. They completely devalue the word, it means nothing anymore. He was up for capitalism, it's like being called a Nazi it just means nothing now. It means nothing, it's just so stupid, it was such a stupid thing to say. Do you want to impeach Trump? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Why? Uh, because he's a good, he's a bad businessman and he's bad for our country. A bad businessman? Yeah. He's a billionaire. Yeah. Times, how many times have he lost those billions? Well, that's part of business, man. Like, yeah. probably like 70% of businesses go out of, go bankrupt. Yeah, true that, true that. Do you want him as your president? <laughs> No, I mean he's he, he knows how to run organizations. I'll give him that. Yeah, well, this is not an organization though. This is you know this is a first world country. The people wanted him though. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I you know what? And there's a lot of people that think, man, was this a joke? <laughs> like really? Yeah. Like they're still asking themselves, man, is this a joke? Was Hillary better though? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> All right, last question. What's the dog's name? Uh, Bea. 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 Yeah. She's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. I am a good man. You want to impeach Trump? Huh? You want to impeach Trump? What do you mean? Impeach Trump? No, I love him. You love him? Yeah. Awesome. Where are you from? Vietnam. Because no time, no beautiful woman. No meat in the right? If we go to Las Vegas, we don't have the girl show. No meat in the right? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. You want to impeach Trump? Uh, totally, absolutely. Impeach Trump, impeach like now. What did he do? What did he do? He did everything wrong. He's the biggest phony. He's the biggest liar there is, and he's a laughing stock. He's making the U.S. the laughing stock of the entire world. You guys want to impeach Trump? What's that? You want to impeach Trump? I want to impeach him. Yeah. No, no. I want to give him uh, President of the Century Award. Really? Yeah. Right on. I think he's absolutely one of the best presidents we've ever had, uh, definitely in my lifetime. What's some of the stuff that he's done that's, uh, you know, good for America? Well, I mean, one of the first things he did is what was he killed the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, which would have uh, caused us a lot of grief in trade, would have cost us a lot of jobs. Um, he has uh, ordered the FBI to start breaking up a lot of these pedophile rings that have been going on around yeah. the country. Uh, that's been highly underreported, but pedophiles have, uh, rings and pedophiles have been getting arrested in uh, huge numbers all over the country. I've seen that, yeah. Yeah, um, he is battling and destroying political correctness. Political correctness is a cancer that needs to be routed out of Western civilization. Political correctness is, prevents us from ha having an open and honest dialogue it prevents us from having uh, an exchange of ideas and in conversing uh, with each other in an open and honest fashion. It causes people to self-censor and prevents the truth from being told. I agree. We're, who are you guys with? Uh, we're from Weekly Narrative. Weekly Narrative. We're a libertarian media outlet. Oh, nice. We cover, cover a bunch of these uh, protests and stuff. Name, Jeremy, what's your name? Bay Stickman. Oh, you're Stickman? Yeah. Right on. Hey, what's up, Stickman? Nice to meet you, man. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. You want to impeach Trump? Uh, I would like him out of the office. Out of office, yeah. Why is that? I don't feel that he represents our country. Um, I feel that the things that he espouses are wrong for a person of his stature, right? President, presidency means something, and we, we have a. I don't know, uh, he was elected though, democratically. He was elected. He was democratically elected. So it kind of is what the people want. It's what, yeah, it's what some of the people want, but we also have a right to, to absolutely, protest, right? Yeah. So, but a reality star in the Oval Office, is, as we've seen, is not a great thing. It's happened before though. Like Reagan was an actor, you know. Reagan, yeah, he was. He, an he was actor. okay. He was okay. He was an actor. He, he was, was in. Okay. He was in Hollywood. He was in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I, I would say that. 
I mean, maybe if Twitter was around, he would have tweeted all these, you know, <laughs> profanities and everything. You think Reagan was going to blow up Twitter? No, no. I'm saying, oh, okay. who knows? I mean, it wasn't around, right? We don't know what he was. <laughs> you guys want to impeach Trump? Hmm? You want to impeach Trump? Yes. You do? Yes. Why? Uh, because he's a fucking dickwad. <laughs> is, is that grounds enough to impeach him though? Um, no, Most of our presidents have been dickwads, yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, that's true. Because um, he's a liar and he's a cheat. And he did, really has no, he doesn't care about other people at all. Was Hillary not a liar and a cheat though? Mm, I guess you're right. Was she a better option? I think she was a better option, unfortunately. Who, did you vote for Hillary? Um, did I? Yes, I did. I ended up voting okay. for Hillary. All right. that he's threatening with nuclear war. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It doesn't really say a lot. It doesn't. It just says, look. It just says they must go. It's loud nonsense. Yeah. There's no content there. Say? You can say that about anything. <laughs> Literally, you can say, Obama and Hillary must go. In the yeah. streets until they're gone. It's just like. The, the, there's no content there. No. It goes over their heads. Yeah. I feel like this will go on until the end of time, though. Yeah. Stuff like this, you know, they lost and... Until he's out of office, they're gonna keep doing this. Yeah. Eight more years! Eight <laughs> more years! Careful. Do you want to impeach President Trump? How do you feel about President Trump? I will see. No. Uh, still waiting? I am... I like him, but... I will see in the future. It's too early to tell. But yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. You guys want to impeach Trump? Yeah. Why? Um, because he's terrible. Trump's terrible? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, what do you do? You want to impeach Trump? Yeah, I'm in favor. Why? Because I think he's really stupid. He's stupid? Yes. Okay. You want people to know that they have to think for themselves. You know why? The shit, like, the, we've seen this before. You've seen this back in Russia. Fucking propaganda. No one has the right to think what otherly. Like, you know, I'm from Berkeley, all right? I've been through the Berkeley system. In middle school, they offered us. I feel bad for you. I've survived, you know. I voted for- If you can make it through that, you can make it through anything. Exactly. As like a Middle Eastern, I voted for Trump because look, I understand the country is divided. Everything's going to hell, you know? But the, the problem is when you preach love, and you know acceptance and tolerance that's great and all but then you're beating trump trump supporters where's the love in that trump and pence must go trump and pence must go trump and pence must go you think we should impeach trump do, do what you think we should impeach the president uh, president trump but he just got elected <laughs> Yeah, he has. Well, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what what are we impeaching him over? Do you have, is there anything comes to your mind when you uh, think about impeaching Trump? People, any good any good reason? Uh, they're jealous of him because he has uh, balls. He has uh, testosterone. Yeah, uh, a lot of these guys don't have that. Yeah, too much soy. Too much soy. It's all uh, a big. Uh, uh, I want to say conspiracies, but it's truth that's in everything, and I believe that there should be some impeachment. You know, I don't know the details of it or anything like that, but from what from watching the news, you know, and things like that, it sounds pretty. Uh, sounds like something's going on. Yeah, something unethical. You yeah. know, and um, you know, we don't need that. Yeah. Don't need that. Do you think Hillary would have been better? Do I think Hillary would have been better? Um, I wouldn't say better but all of the antics that's going on right now i don't think that you know it'd be as uh as uh, hysterical as it is now not, a, not as drama filled drama, yeah. yeah 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 all right uh thanks for your time man appreciate it well we uh we made it to 24th emission and uh it was a, overall I'd say kind of a small march 100 people maybe 150 same guys we've seen before uh we were expecting a lot more 
kind of ended up being a dud. But, you know, it's San Francisco. It's November 4th. They've been talking it up for, for months now. And uh, if this is how they plan to overthrow the revolution, they uh, just dropped a couple of speakers off that stack there. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're not doing too hot. I don't think they're going to get too far uh, with this this momentum here that they got. Anyway, uh, we're going to try and get some tacos, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I'm Jeremy, and this is The Weekly Narrative. Uh, before I go, I want to let you guys know that I do have a Patreon page up now. You're going to see links in the video here. Um, I'm going to have a lot of deleted scenes from the first video that I made where uh, I interviewed that Jewish kid at Berkeley. There's a lot of other content from the other interviews that I had there. I know they were big hits on YouTube and uh, you guys would probably be pretty happy to see more content from that. You know, there's a lot of content that doesn't make these videos. So what I'm going to do is put up a lot of the deleted scenes and stuff on my Patreon page so that my uh, uh, patrons can support me and also get additional content because I want to give you guys something back in return. So check it out there and if you guys want to support i greatly appreciate it, it keeps me traveling across the state and uh, to these kind of events and bringing you more content and uh, i really appreciate it thanks guys